This is how to play bocce ball. You're gonna need some hard balls like this. They're nice and plastic. Um, I have two, and she has two. Show the camera your two. She has red, I have yellow. We're on opposing teams. This is the Polino. Now these balls are hard, so make sure if you're playing with these hard bocce balls that you're careful, especially if you're a young, young one playing. Um, you can also play with tennis balls. You can play with Ninja Turtle balls or soft cotton balls, it does not matter. But here's how to play. You take the Polino right here. It's a small ball and what you want to do is you want to toss it out. Okay, not too far, especially if you're playing with someone small. Oh, that was pretty far. Okay, now what we're gonna do is one person gets a turn and then the other gets a turn. I'm gonna go first because I have a yellow ball and I'm gonna throw it underhanded and I'm gonna get it as close as I can to that polino. Are you ready? Okay, I'll go first and then you get a roll. Okay. As close as I can to that white ball. I touched it. That's okay to touch the polino as you roll it. Go ahead and roll your ball, Vanessa. Right to that. Oh my goodness. She got hers very close, but we're not done yet. It's still my turn. Okay. Now, now we go check to see what the points are, okay? All right, well, I'll leave that there, leave it there. She had, she had one ball that is closer to the Polino than mine, and this one was farther. Now, she would get one point for this because it is closer than this ball. Now the next ball that's closest to the Polino is the yellow. He gets no points, okay? But if this other ball was closer to the Polino, then red would have one point for this ball, and then they would have one point for this ball, and the yellow would get no points. And then we would pick up the balls and try it again, okay? Wanna play that again, Vanessa? Vanessa, let's try it one more time. One more time. Okay, she got the point. I'm gonna let her throw the polino out. Don't throw it too far, okay? Underhanded throw. Take the polino. I'll hold this one for you. And roll it out there, not too far. Go ahead. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go first again. I'm gonna roll it as close as I can to that polino, okay? Alright, your turn, Vanessa. Close as you can. Ooh, looks like I'm winning so far, but she's good at rolling. Wait, 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 my turn. One more person's turn, then the next, then the next, and next. If you're playing with now two players, you get two balls each. Four players, same thing. Two ball do ball two balls each. If you have more, you can play how you like. Look what she just did again. She got another point because her red ball is closer to the Polino than any of my balls. Now her ball bumped my ball out of the way. That's okay for this game. Also, it is okay for you to hit the Polino out of the way to get the ball to get it away from the opposing team's ball. And that's how you play bocce ball. I want you to roll your bocce ball down the slide, get as close as you can to that white ball, the little white ball. Keep going, leave that white ball on the ground though. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> Bocce ball for toddlers. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> they only get one ball each. One person gets a color. She has red. The other person gets another color. He has green, so they don't fight over it. Parental supervision is required for this game. Because these balls are very hard, and they're not allowed to throw them. <laughs> they can just roll them down the slide. Alright, keep going. Making sure not to get in the way in between the slide and the bocce ball.
Go ahead. Go ahead, can you roll it? Oh, there we go. And these are the bocce balls that I bought for this game. Franklin bocce ball. Right there. Thanks for joining me. My name is Ryan Montgomery. Make sure you like this video with a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe if you want to keep seeing these types of videos. Thanks.